Hi guys, have you ever heard about cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography to secure and verify transactions and to control the creation of new units. Cryptocurrencies have become a popular form of digital assets, allowing for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, global payments, and decentralized finance. The growth of cryptocurrencies in recent days has been significant. Increased institutional usage, the expansion of decentralized finance DeFi, and the increasing acceptance of cryptocurrencies as a mainstream asset class are some of the factors that have contributed to this growth. Yet, as established regulatory frameworks struggle to keep up with the quick speed of innovation in the crypto world, the emergence of cryptocurrencies has also prompted worries about regulation and legal challenges. As cryptocurrencies continue to gain mainstream acceptance, it is essential to understand the legal and regulatory frameworks that govern these assets to ensure compliance, mitigate risks, and foster innovation. Join us in today's video and let's explore the exciting and complex world of crypto regulations and legal issues. Cryptocurrency classification The classification of cryptocurrency is one of the most significant concerns in crypto laws and regulations. The question of whether cryptocurrencies should be considered currencies, commodities, securities, or something else has significant implications for how they are regulated. The classification affects everything from taxation to AMLKYC requirements to investor protection. The lack of clear and consistent guidance on classification has led to confusion and uncertainty in the industry. A good example of this is the dispute over XRP, where Ripple claims it is a currency while the SEC claims it is a security. It will be vital for regulators to offer precise and consistent instructions on how cryptocurrencies should be categorized and controlled as the cryptocurrency industry continues to expand and change. AMLKYC regulations Anti-money laundering AML and know your customer KYC rules are important for safeguarding investors and customers as well as for preserving the integrity of the financial system. These regulations are designed to prevent money laundering, terrorist financing, and other criminal activities by requiring financial institutions, including cryptocurrency exchanges, to verify the identities of their customers and monitor their transactions. AML regulations require financial institutions and cryptocurrency exchanges to identify and verify the identities of their customers in order to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing. KYC regulations require the same but with an additional layer of verifying the source of funds. However, there is a tension between AMLKYC regulations and the anonymity that many cryptocurrencies offer. Regulators are working to find the right balance between protecting against illegal activities and respecting privacy. Taxation Governments around the world are grappling with how to tax cryptocurrencies. There are questions about whether crypto should be treated as property or currency, and how to account for gains and losses. The lack of uniformity in tax treatment between countries and even states can create confusion for businesses and investors alike. Determining the proper tax treatment is also difficult due to the volatility of cryptocurrencies. The development of new technologies like DeFi and NFTs has made the tax system even more complex. Authorities are still trying to figure out the best way to tax these novel kinds of assets. There is a need for greater clarity and consistency in cryptocurrency taxation for future. Initial Coin Offerings ICOs Initial Coin Offerings ICOs are a way for cryptocurrency startups to raise funds by issuing tokens. However, ICOs have been associated with fraud and scams, and regulators are working to create guidelines to protect investors. Nowadays, many nations demand that ICOs abide by securities rules which presents difficulties for entrepreneurs. Additionally, it is challenging for ICOs to negotiate the worldwide market due to the lack of standardization in legislation across the board. For instance, in the US, the SEC has provided guidance on when a token sale is considered a security offering and what companies must do to comply with securities laws. ICOs have become less frequent, but the concept has led to other token sale methods that are just as innovative. 
Authorities are still trying to figure out the best way to control ICOs in a way that protects investors and fosters industry innovation, security and hacking. Exchanges and wallets for cryptocurrencies are extremely vulnerable to security flaws, which can lead to the loss of millions of dollars worth of digital currency. Also, the absence of regulations in some nations makes it simpler for hackers to conduct their business without worrying about consequences. It is also important to ensure that companies offering custody services are properly licensed and insured, and that customers have access to insurance in the event of a loss. To address these concerns, regulators are taking steps to improve cybersecurity measures, such as requiring exchanges to implement multi-factor authentication and cold storage of funds. However, this is an ongoing process, and the constantly evolving nature of technology means that regulators will need to continually adapt and improve cybersecurity measures to stay ahead of potential threats. Cross-border transactions Cross-border transactions are another area where cryptocurrencies have created regulatory challenges. Cryptocurrencies can be sent across borders without going through traditional financial institutions, which creates challenges for regulators who are trying to monitor financial flows and prevent money laundering. There is a need for greater cooperation between regulators at the national and international levels to address these challenges. Smart contracts Smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into code. These contracts have legal implications, and there is a need for regulatory guidance to ensure that they are enforceable and meet legal standards. Decentralization The decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies creates challenges for regulators who may not have the ability to control or regulate the network. This raises questions about how to enforce regulations and protect consumers in a decentralized ecosystem. However, decentralized networks also offer opportunities for innovation and greater financial inclusion, and regulators need to balance these competing priorities. Privacy and anonymity Cryptocurrencies' core properties of privacy and anonymity are essential to many users. But regulators face difficulties in identifying and stopping unlawful activities like tax evasion, money laundering, and financing terrorism. Privacy coins, such as Monero and Zcash, are specifically designed to provide maximum privacy and anonymity to their users, making it difficult for regulators to track transactions. Some countries are putting in place legislation that require cryptocurrency exchanges to confirm the identities of its customers and report questionable activities in order to ease these worries. In the Bitcoin sector, there is also an ongoing discussion over how privacy and regulation should coexist. Consumer protection Finally, consumer protection is a critical issue in the world of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency transactions are irreversible, which creates risks for consumers. Regulations are needed to ensure that consumers are protected from fraud, scams, and other forms of misconduct. Consumers must also have access to information about the risks and benefits of investing in cryptocurrencies, and companies must be held accountable for. XRP is one example of a cryptocurrency that has been at the center of a legal and regulatory battle, raising important questions about how cryptocurrencies should be classified for regulatory purposes. XRP is a digital currency that was created by Ripple Labs in 2012. It is designed to be a fast and efficient means of payment and settlement for financial institutions. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC sued Ripple in December 2020, claiming that the business had offered unregistered securities to investors by selling them XRP. The SEC contended that Ripple had not complied with the essential registration and disclosure requirements and that XRP should be considered a security governed by the same laws as stocks or bonds. On the other hand, Ripple asserted that XRP was not covered by the same restrictions because it was a currency and not a security. In March 2021, Ripple won a key victory in the case when a judge granted the company's request to access internal SEC documents related to the agency's classification of cryptocurrencies. 
Ripple argued that the documents would show that the SEC had not been consistent in its treatment of cryptocurrencies and that the agency had failed to provide clear guidance on how cryptocurrencies should be classified. The case is ongoing, and its outcome will have significant implications for the cryptocurrency industry. If the SEC position is upheld, it could lead to increased regulation of cryptocurrencies and greater uncertainty for investors. If Ripple's position is upheld, it could pave the way for greater clarity and consistency in cryptocurrency regulation. In addition to the legal issues, XRP has also faced regulatory challenges in other countries. Overall, the legal and regulatory issues surrounding XRP highlight the challenges that cryptocurrencies face in a rapidly evolving regulatory landscape. As the cryptocurrency industry continues to grow and mature, it will be important for regulators to provide clear and consistent guidance on how cryptocurrencies should be classified and regulated. In conclusion, crypto regulations and legal issues are complex and constantly evolving. As the cryptocurrency industry continues to grow and mature, it is important for regulators to provide clear and consistent guidance on how cryptocurrencies should be regulated, while balancing the need to protect consumers and investors with the need to foster innovation and growth in the industry. I hope this video was useful and informative to you. Thank you for watching. We will meet you back with another interesting video soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel.